What's up traders, Mark here from ElementaryFX.com Today is the 30th of April, almost the 1st of May and I wanna really look into our uh, pairs because week is starting and it will be a really interesting week we have some really nice setups for some trades so let's look into those pairs okay I wanna start from EURUSD and before we start I actually want to uh, show you uh, the legion I'm using for channels alright as you can see here I have my legion where I actually can uh, remember all the colors black for monthly, gray for weekly, blue daily and pink for our and one hour charts our channels right so keeping that in mind uh, it will be useful for us to actually spot uh, stronger or weaker channels so uh, let's start with EURUSD okay I wanna let's go to the 4 hour chart okay as you can see uh, basically we have a channel right here okay with some really nice touches this one this one this one and this one which, uh, which happened uh, Friday and from Wednesday to Friday uh, last week which is uh, really nice respecting it and also we have our potential channel black which is monthly as you can see here okay that touches this zone and we have another one up here touching all the spikes all right it's it's really uh, parallel so it, it's really really nice and it's a really strong level okay since it's a monthly one but I want to look forward into the smaller resistance here all right so um, in this gray channel as you can see we have a swing retrace swing retrace swing okay here and probably probably we will have another retrace okay going down also as you can see it is a really nice uh, bearish flag okay we have a pull a bearish consolidation a bullish consolidation and soon in the future we will have a breakout to the lower side all right speaking of that uh, from Wednesday to Friday of last week okay we actually had this channel touch we had one two and almost three channel touches right here okay uh, I've traded this one and we got nine, 90 pips from that I, I got covered all the retrace from here and now I'm trading the other touch all right my my actually uh, take profit is a bit overextended because I focus on probably the biggest swing downside we will have okay, maybe price can even rise this point and still do something like this all right but when price will actually touch the channel i will consider if to close the trade or not depending if i see a breakout or if i see some consolidating candles okay of oh, reversal candles sorry but anyway our uh weekly outlook maybe for i don't know maybe how much is that last week was for 16 days all right about 16 days and the swing of before was about 13 days 14 days okay on average it, they were averaging of 15 days two weeks all right or even more three weeks no two weeks and okay so basically we could find the price let's say 30 bucks 10 days 
14, 60 days. Probably if price respect time, we would find price here in two weeks. Okay. But anyway, my direction on USD is going short because as I said, price is respecting channel, monthly channel. Okay, let's let's have a look at the daily chart. Okay, daily chart. Those are our two channels we have drawn before. We have a pull, a retrace, and we do expect maybe uh, at least to reach this zone, this gray zone, and then see if actually price will break out from there, all right? Because, because it's not really uh, necessary that price will break out to the downside. Maybe we do some retraces or it, it might even not break out lower, okay? So I really want to see how price will handle this zone. But first, but first, we still have a long way. So focusing for this week, I'm short to actually close the gap we uh, that price created last week with French elections, all right, this one. So I'm focusing to close it. And that's it. That's for Euro USD. Let's move on to Euro Yen. Okay. This is still um, daily week, daily outlook. Um, two, the, two the two things I really see really nicely here are this line, okay, the black one, the other black one, which is a monthly line, all right, so it is a really nice support and resistance level. Uh, this gray line, okay, which is still even a monthly one, let's change it to monthly, come on, okay. This is still a really nice and respected level, as you can see. It bounced perfectly here, respecting also this level. But for weekly levels, we have this line, the gray one, all right? That is actually touching all these weeks, as you can see. And actually, it really touched the price on lower time frame last week, okay? Other than that, I really don't see any kind of major resistance. We st we have a really uh, hole right here that maybe get filled someday. Okay, but let's move into the one hour chart. Okay, that is our the hourly chart. Okay, so we have a. Uh, uh, touch to the lower side we traded this um two weeks ago with a guard with a pattern and we got 500 pips around okay and now after the gap all right price gap right here we can actually see that price went higher okay and created um two channel basically the biggest one is this one pink one okay as you can see there is a touch here a touch here a touch here so we do expect maybe price to actually retouch here okay and then go out and go on doing touches or breakout but anyway, uh, we can we can also uh, have um, we can also see another channel, which is the blue one right here, which is a bearish channel, as you can see. We traded this, uh, and we got some profit. Also, we traded the breakout of it, which respected really nicely. But for now, for this pay. Uh, there are two possibilities, all right. I am actually short right here. I am trading this. Okay, 
I'm not doing the trade I posted on trading view really exactly, but it was something like this, I think. Okay, so I, I traded this. And also, also, I really want to see how price will react to this dynamic support. Okay, it seems really, um, as you can see, I have a timer here, so I will be alerted when price crosses it or touches it. But I really want to see how price will react to that support line. All right, uh, if price will actually break lower uh, we can, we might see uh, another touch right here below if price doesn't we might see another retest to the weekly gray line okay this one which is respected really nicely and the thing I'm most afraid of the most most afraid is that um, if price fails to break up lower than this line it might probably um, go higher and retest this black zone all right which is the monthly uh, channel but um, considering that um, those channels can be actually interpreted uh, really differently I would say, as you can see, there are some really nice touches right here, right here. Uh, I'm not really into uh, retesting this, this black channel. I'm more focused on uh, trading the top of it that I'm already doing. I'm already short in that. I'm already trading it, the top of it and focusing on the gap close or the retest of the lower channel that's your that's your yen i'm going short for gap close and because we touched the weekly or monthly uh line as you can see here 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 okay if you go to the path to the left you will see more i think you will see more here here it's really a nice level okay so I'm looking forward to sell it. USD CAD. All right, let's get into the daily chart. Daily time frame. Sorry. Okay, daily time frame. We have a pull, as you can see, a bullish retrace, and we do expect sooner or later to actually complete this pull right here. All right. Probably around here sooner or later. Uh, Say that I want to get into lower time frame, one hour time frame. Okay, one hour time frame. So um, that was about three weeks, three week, two months ago. All right. Uh, that created that uh, flag bearish channel and now price should complete flag all right it actually uh completed the smaller the smaller one all right it depends how how, how you want to look it if the if the flagpole starts from here or from the lowest low which is this one it depends really how you want to look at it but um for now, uh, price actually completed the fee the first uh, smaller pull, right? Okay, so um, uh, last week also, as you can see, uh, price broke the channel, went higher, retested it, and recreated a uh, a flag right here. Okay, saying saying that. Um, we traded this touch, all right. We traded this touch and we got 120 pips. Um, 
now that price is uh, at this level, I really would, I really wanna actually wait and see what it will do because because we actually have two factors right here. The first one is that we already completed with this spike, we completed the the flag pattern right here. All right. The second thing I wanna really see is that price will respect this pattern all right so as you can see we have a pull retrace and we should end we should end the pattern in the same way all right but I still really want to see if price will actually break out because the other the other flag pole is exactly right here all right so if price will actually uh, break higher and close higher than than this level than this channel I will might uh, actually re-enter for another long with possibly uh, this level as profit right also I wanna say also um, those two levels okay those two levels the middle one Okay, which is the completion of the pink channel as you can see and the blue one the high the highest one coincide perfectly with the weak channels we have here okay so basically the blue one Okay, the blue one coincides really, really nicely with this one, with this higher high, okay, which is basically a parallel of this gray channel, all right? It is a parallel uh, that really touches only this higher high. That could be a uh, really possible, a uh, really uh, nice. Uh, maybe sell sell zone I don't know if price actually will be right here and the other one I think in a couple of days we will reach the other um, point if actually price goes higher we also have uh, another point we also have another point of view which is uh, to treat um, maybe this point uh, as another touch of the channel and it might be actually changing uh, totally the structure of the price but I don't really know so the best case to do the best case here is actually to wait and see price how we act in the future all right um, I could have traded uh, a short right here, okay, focusing this side of the channel, but since uh, since objectives are really close to it, um, price might even not retrace and just spike higher, all right? So I'm playing safe, I'm waiting, I want to see what price will actually do, and that's USD CAD long if it breaks higher or wait and that's it and uh, once uh, price will actually reach these levels i will actually start maybe a short all right that was usd cad let's get into usd again okay daily time frame okay daily time frame as you can see we have a really nice support channel here a really nice resistance channel monthly black here that actually maybe touches some really other not nice points like this one and maybe other and this one and also this one okay so those are our two major uh, resistance points we also have a monthly and weekly point which is this gray one which actually 
respected price respected really nicely okay here going in smaller time frame okay going into smaller time frame as you can see we have attached to the black channel to the monthly channel spike up creating a pull plus a retrace all right pricing a channel retrace now um how much uh, two or three weeks ago price touched the lower channel all right and start rising now what can we do actually right here uh, we do have two options actually okay the first one the first one which is the aggressive one is to actually uh, short it we we could have um, a possibility right here to short it um, the main reason is that as you can see um, price created a channel a rising channel the pink one okay that you can actually draw it like this or maybe even like this okay I uh, still have to try out a few things but I'm going for the parallel channel to the support line here all right so something like this okay and what price could do right here okay so price basically touched all right and now starts consolidating right here as you can see it, it actually didn't break this level all right it actually didn't break this level so maybe we will be able to see a retrace maybe to this point and then a uh, high a new higher high all right um playing safe um playing safe you shouldn't take this as a trade because you are basically in the middle of the channel and it's really risky um even though even though you have a really nice uh, risk reward because there are let's say 26 pips uh, from the highest high all right which is this one and probably probably playing a short in that playing a short with that with maybe 40 to 50 pips of stop loss you could have really some nice profit but it's a, it's a risky trade because we are in the middle of the channel possibly 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 if price will actually uh, retrace uh, your to take profit should be around this zone okay your take profit should be around this zone this major zone all right uh, it, it is a really nice uh, risk award because it's actually how much is that let's say we have 40 40 p yeah. uh, it's kind of risky because we have this spike okay so price might actually retest this spike and then go lower it's really risky uh, going for one and one you have let's say let's say to play safe so we do 100 pips around i say around okay so with the higher high you can play really safe with one one and one ratio but doing a really nice trade i think that will be the way okay it's a risky trade 
even though uh, I I don't I don't say I don't say it's impossible, but we are actually kind of late for it. So it's up to you. I wouldn't trade that. Uh, but if I see maybe a uh, price going higher again and not breaking higher, I will short it. All right. That was USD yen. Uh, we have a retrace, a possible retrace, and in the future we have uh, another new high high here to the channel. Okay, we are actually not even that that far from the channel, so my price might even actually touch this blue one and go higher. Also, also think about it that it is a flag and a flag a flag pattern all right so think about it that in the future uh, price should actually break higher and start going higher all right so playing a short is kind of risky it's kind of risky even though even though it's a really super nice uh, resistance level this one it's really risky so so I really wouldn't take that unless I see some rejection from that level, all right? And that was USD yen. Let's get into USD Swiss franc. Okay, USD Swiss franc. It is actually the same almost as the USD yen. Uh, price created a flag, as you can see with a retracement now we are in a bearish channel all right we are in a bearish channel we are actually near the top channel hit all right last week it, it did touch it okay uh, playing short playing short is if price will actually come higher this one is really risky because probably uh, we are going to see a breakout really soon all right as you can see um, price really didn't create uh, new lower lows except this one which is not really that far okay I'll watch it it is 12 pips far from it all right so it's really not that far 70 pips all right so probably it is gonna break out uh, I'm not saying today but in a couple of days it's gonna break out higher so I will I will trade the the breakout if I see price going higher than this level okay I would go long right here exactly uh, said so nothing um, trading short is risky if we are going counter trend uh, I really don't know I really don't know about a short I wouldn't do that I would wait for a long opportunity and that's it all right basically if price comes above this level and nothing more nothing else uh, if price will actually break out we might also see uh, price reaching this blue level all right and in the future we we'll reach one of those two weekly and monthly levels uh, price could also could also uh, touch this point and reach again this blue monthly level all right it could also do that um let me get my fibo 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 retrace with the magnets nazi nazri loss which i really hate okay So, um, 
another clue another clue of what price is doing is this one okay we took uh, the previous wing okay this wing and we applied our FIBO levels as you can see price is exactly well not like really exactly but some swings are okay uh, sitting on 618 FIBO level now um, 618 FIBO level is a really golden ratio for reversal right so we do expect maybe a, a really nice breakout in a couple of days all right yeah i think i think i think it will break out really 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 soon um other than that nothing really it could even reach seven six four and touch this gray line monthly and then go higher but uh on the larger scheme it is a, a bullish move that is really coming in a couple of days okay GBP USD dollar pound dollar pound dollar okay uh, as you can see we as you can see we can well not we can but I drawn some really uh, nice support dynamic super and resistance right here let me delete this uh, the first one is this one which is still a uh, really long way for price to reach it the second one is this one that really respected that that price really respected as you can see price which at this level and break above it with a really huge spike okay now i really want to focus on the weekly levels all right the weekly levels and the daily levels here are our drone in blue all right we have uh, those are the old channels but I really want to focus on this one that starts here okay and touches here 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 perfectly and ends here all right there are also this one that touches here 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 and hands exactly here all right so basically um, last week after the breakout we traded this one okay there was a breakout price started creating a channel and we traded the breakout like here all right uh i did close it unfortunately but i would be up 123 pips right now if i still had the, the trade open all right i did close it because i mismanaged it really badly uh, i closed it in break even so it's okay next time we'll be uh we'll go better lesson learned but price actually respected our pattern broke it this flag okay this flag broke above it retested it and went higher basically we do expect price to actually complete the pull here all right let me delete this we can actually expect price to um, complete the poll that exactly and I say exactly uh, completes here all right with those two really channel touches exactly so um, what do I want to see right now is to actually have uh, some breath for the price maybe to have a retrace all right i'm not i really don't know where but probably let's say probably uh price will retrace to this zone okay because as you can see here okay 
market was a really nice uh, zone that price uh, struggled to get over as you can see price reached here a long week uh, tried to break above but it was pulled down okay again tested it pulled down pulled down pulled down here tested 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 pulled down and then finally break higher as you can see also here price broke higher retested it and now went higher again creating a new higher high even if it's not that far okay those are nine pips even if it's not that far it actually created a new high high but I really do want to see a uh, retrace now uh, I I don't know the level so uh, the only thing I will wait the only thing I know is that I have to wait to some maybe feeble level confirmation maybe about maybe about this zone or something higher I don't know uh, I will see the structure how how will be created I will see everything is still uh, unknown the only thing I know is that how our target is up here okay our target is up here in this zone but I really don't know what I really don't know what price will do this week it could retrace it could spike up I really don't know what I really don't know all right uh, said so that was our last pair for the video and that's it see ya in the next video I'm gonna do a, a trading journal talking about all the profits I made last week I've got a lot of pips and I'm really happy with that so see ya maybe in a couple of days with the other video okay guys uh, Marco here from Ethereum bye bye traders bye bye